Setting up your desk isn't just about putting things together. It's about creating a space where you feel right at home the moment you sit down. So what's your style? I went from this setup to this setup. It took me a while before I made this video because I wanted to test out and trial and error what worked for me in terms of productivity and creativity and comfort and also most importantly functionality. I just had to bring it back to what are my criteria? What are my needs when I'm designing this workspace? One, it needs to be functional for how I work because I do a lot of editing work, I do podcasting work, I do a lot of writing. It just needs to be functional to meet those needs because I will be at my desk for a long time. I also take into account how it affects my health, my posture, and they all fall under functionality. Two, I want to make use of what I already have. This is a budget-friendly setup. What might I be able to use that perhaps wasn't designed for a desk, but I'm just gonna use it for my desk anyway. There's a cost incentive there. Lastly, it has to be visually pleasing. I'm not gonna go overboard with super aesthetic. I will do my best with what I have. For example, those lights, those are my travel podcasting lights. I only use it to light up my guests when I was recording podcasts live back when I was in Hong Kong. But now that I'm not doing live podcasts face to face, I just turn on the color and set the mood. That's just one example. Let's get right to it. And we'll start off with location. You should probably also turn the lights on so you can get a better view. <laughs> door to the room is actually here. And I guess depending on what you like, do you prefer walking in and looking at your desk right away? But that would mean that you're seated with your back to the door. And for some reason, maybe this is a safety thing. That's a no-go for me. Health is something I value very much. After having spending so much time on patio chairs, coffee shop chairs, and just using boxes to stack up and raise a monitor at a certain height, over time you just crave some sort of stability and convenience and functionality. After looking high and low for a standing desk, I finally settled on one that is not necessarily the cheapest, but it is definitely in the lower priced range for an electric standing desk. This is the first monitor I've ever invested it's a pretty neat 32, not too compact, but not exactly super large either. In support of posture health, I've got a desk riser. It is just so I can keep my monitor at eye level when I'm standing, when I'm sitting. It just needs to be consistent. Now in terms of posture, I like to keep it very. This may be an ADHD-like trait, but I also can't really sit in one position for long. So this is what I use. It's a stool, but it's like a swivel base. I think my height is just perfect for that minimum height of this stool because I can put my feet up comfortably on that little storage box that I already have. I would say this stool is pretty much an essential piece of the desk setup. I used to have a kneeling stool, which I used religiously when I was in Hong Kong. But that was before I even did, so no regrets. I upgraded to the MacBook Pro M1 chip. And honestly, for podcasts and video editing, it's good enough. Depending on how you like your workflow to be, I like to use my left hand and keep it on the trackpad, especially when I'm editing video. I also use a webcam on my laptop for things that are not necessarily professionally recorded. When I use my podcasts and stuff, I use my phone as a camera, which is what I'm recording on right now. So I needed a laptop riser as well but i like things that have double function i wanted a laptop riser that is also portable when i do go to a coffee shop or a co-working space i can bring that with me and the cool thing about that one is it also has a phone holder that clips onto it a portable keyboard a cordless keyboard if you may so you can bring it along with you when you travel, or if you're moving around the house, you wanna bring your keyboard with you. The mouse is a big game changer for me. I actually have developed a bit of an arthritis-like symptom due to my health condition. But after I started using this MX Master 3 mouse from Logitech, I've been having way, way less cramps. You can create shortcuts, especially when you're editing videos, you can create shortcuts for this little button here, that little button here, and these little buttons here. With cable management, it's always a thing. And prior to this, I'll be honest, cables were everywhere. This little box is from Ikea. MacBook, that's for the lamp. And this is for everything else, like my loop charger, phone charger, little zip tie to keep them all neat. Otherwise, they just kind of look like spider webs everywhere. This is a lamp that came with the apartment. I just use a simple, one of those ties that come with cables. And just keep the little knob 
next to it. I'm not fumbling my way around. I know exactly where the light switch is. I have a little USB port that I Velcro taped under the desk. This port has an SD card reader, HDMI, as well as USB-C. By keeping it just right here, it's also out of view. That's what you want, sturdy. Yeah. You stand as well. I have been experimenting using for my podcast instead of my Zoom. I'm still figuring out how to tweak it best for the sound quality that I want. But for now, it does the job for my coaching calls, for meetings. This is probably my favorite desk accessory. So at a glance, without the ticking noises, I can see how much time I have left. It's rechargeable, but if you do want sound, you can toggle with it. This is not actually a desk accessory. This is a battery accessory, which I use one for storage. And I use the other just to prop it up and create a different height. And I put my mouse there. As you evolve your desk setup, you naturally would want to upgrade. And when you upgrade, you want your items to be sellable. Protect your items at all costs. I learned this the hard way. To get some sort of protector for any items that doesn't make it ugly, I guess. Super affordable. When you want to do a laptop upgrade, it's in good condition and you can get more money for it. At the end of a workday, when I put everything away, it's a cue for me to not come back to the desk and set boundaries with myself. Whatever this space will ultimately be for you, it is up to you to design how you want to align your values, stack up the little micro habits, keep them aligned with what's really important to you. Health, posture, movement, creativity, motivation, these are all for you to design in a rental. I'm gonna be showing you how to use this. I create my workspace. No paint, no patch. Do subscribe so you don't miss that video. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.